Welcome to the G.I. Joe headquarters. Well, listen up. We're back to doing what we do best up here at the G.I. Joe headquarters. Barbie Street has been relocated. We're now going back old school, what I like best about the G.I. Joe headquarters. And what you see before you right now is Captain Cromwell beside one of the G.I. Joe battle flags. The Bennington 76 flag. Captain Cromwell is studying what must be done when the elite Joe team leaves Luzon onto Negros Occidental, landing at Salai, commandeering some vehicles, driving through Bacalo at night, all the way through the rural countryside to Cabancalan, to capture a living zombie species to bring back, to analyze. They have no clue how to eliminate the zombies. They will figure that out, let alone bring back a live specimen to stop this zombie virus and to stop Cobra and Japanese tyranny and the alternative spring 1942 World War II universe. Let's scan around here. There's some of our old friends. They will be coming on this mission also. Both of them. It has been told to them at the War Council officers' meeting that this is the hardest mission that they will ever undertake and that some Joes just may not make it back alive. Still in the box. World War II Pacific Theater Post Bataan and Corregidor World War II pot helmet. He will be getting open soon and he will accompany the Joes on this mission. There we go. Look at this angle. Look at this angle of the attack jeep the man driving has officially been given the name camo manning the 50 caliber machine gun up top flint And two soldiers in the cockpit of the armored car. The man on the far right who you can't see, who is at the fall of Bataan and Corregidor, we have nicknamed officially Bats. What about the camo man you see before you? What? Nickname will we give him? That's a good question. And 
I'm still debating what his nickname shall be. But there was a war council that met last night around this table. Three officers of the Joe team. The suspense is killing me because I know what these men face. And there was a heart to heart discussion about it's okay to be afraid. Being afraid makes you brave. Being afraid makes you smart, makes you on the outlook to be circumspect about not being killed. But it also drives you to the occasion to never, ever be a coward and run away. All three officers vowed that they would accomplish this mission and they would do so bravely. It was revealed from up top that this is a do or die mission. They are to do the mission or they are to die. It is that serious. It is the most serious mission that the Joe team has ever been given. So folks, the G.I. Joes at the G.I. Joe headquarters have come back. There has been a war council deciding what must be done to stop this zombie virus. They leave tonight. Stay safe, stay cool, and stay Joe. Mabuhai.